So when I work with fireworks, I'm quite often needing to section off a part of my file. So I need to know how to work with my rulers and my guides and my grids. At the moment, I have my ruler showing, but you may not have that up. So you need to know where that happens to be. So if I go underneath my view menu, here's my rulers. I have my grid and I can show grid and I can snap to that grid or I can edit that grid. So let's go ahead and show that grid. So that may be more than what you actually need in your file. So if I go back up to my view and go to my edit grid, then I can say exactly how far apart I want that particular grid to be. So if I'm working on a different scale, for instance, depending on what my end result is going to be, whether it's going to be a web page or it's a application, exactly what it is that I'm working with, then I can go in here and I can change my pixels and edit that grid. So I'll go back underneath view and I'm going to uncheck my show grid. We'll go back and take a look at my guides next. So I can show guides, I can lock guides, and I can snap to guides, or I could clear guides. So now when I'm in my document here, I can click in my rulers. I see that little double arrow, and then I know that I'm going to be able to pull out a guide. So I can pull out my guides from both my horizontal and my vertical rulers. And now I could go back and say that I'm either going to lock them, or if I don't like them, then I can actually clear them. Now we also have some smart guides. And so it's going to show the smart guides and snap to smart guides. Now this one is really very, very helpful. If you're used to flash, you're used to this as well. So for instance, if I grab a rectangle and I draw a rectangle that we can actually see would be good. I'm going to draw another rectangle. And now you can see that we've got my smart guides showing up. So my smart guides let me know when I have something aligned with something else. This is great for when I am going to center something on my page so that I can make sure that I may be making something the same height or the same width or having it intersect on the right hand side or in this case both the right hand and the bottom of my other objects without having to measure it exactly on my page. It's already going to let me know that everything's going to line up correctly. So then I've got my nine slice scaling guides and I can lock those guides as well. So what my nine slice scaling guide is, is when I take an object like this and I give it a roundness and I'm just going to grab my property inspector and I give it a roundness. And now I can actually use some of my other tools here and my nine slice scaling tool. So the purpose of my nine slice scaling tool is to give me guides exactly only where my corner radius is. So if I grab my guides and I just move those around a little bit and I would normally zoom in a little closer so I can actually see. Now when I scale this, I'm going to be able to utilize the fact that only the straight edges are going to scale and it's going to leave my corner radius alone. So now we've taken a look at how we can utilize our rulers, our grids, and our guides.